Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to be making the front hairpins.
All right, so I got the hairpins done now. The only thing I haven't done yet was is make custom bolts to mount up here, but other than that, that's how they're gonna look. I mounted them with a very slight downward angle. Once there's actual load on the front, that'll that'll come up more towards level, but I like that, that look right there. And I went for it to kind of, the two beams to kind of taper back a little bit, and then they come together right here, and I think these original tie rod ends look really nice there. It gives it, it gives it a much more vintage look, which is what I was really going for. So, and then in order to get them to slant back into the frame like that, I just kind of I just heated and bent the the bat wings right there so that um, those can go towards the frame instead of just coming straight back out to nothing. And I was planning to mount the friction shocks here to this bolt right there. Um, once I make a custom bolt to mount that too. So this side looks pretty good. This side though is a little bit off. You can see that that's in front of that bolt there. So I'll have to figure out something for that. But anyways, those are the hairpins. That's pretty much all I have to talk about in this video though. Um, that really is a big step though because now, now the front end is nice and solid, which which is what I like. So the next video will be on the engine. I have. I have an engine acquired that I'm hoping to be able to put in this. I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet though, so you'll have to wait and see. But if you follow me on Instagram and Macro Machines, you can see um, sneak peeks of stuff before they come out, including that engine. So be sure to do that. And that's all I have for you for this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.